This is our Stour Jet Setter watch, and as you can see, it has a lot of bells and whistles. It has the date feature, the calendar day of the month. It has the chronograph, which this is the seconds. This one is the minutes. And then it also has a 24 hour dial over here. It has this long sweep hand, which is our second hand, and then our hour and our minute hand. This Jet Setter chronograph watch has three buttons. It has an A button. It has the crown, which is referred to the B button. And then it has the D button down here. We're going to change the date window, which you can see is right here. And right now it's set for the fifth. We're gonna, today is the seventh, so we're gonna change this. So as you can see the crown, it has, it has three positions. It has the zero position. It has a one position and a two position. So you pull out the stem, and I find it just easier to pull it all the way out to the two position, and then gently push it back to the one position, and you feel a little click, and then you turn clockwise, and you can see the date advancing forward. Now right now I have it for the six, which is fine, although I did say it was the seventh, so we're just gonna change it to the six. We're gonna pull the stem out to the two position now and set the time. We're gonna set it for 1 p.m. So what we're gonna do is you move the hands forward, and you can see the 24 hour clock is also following along with you because they work in sequence. We're gonna go all the way around. And now it has changed it to the seventh, so you know we're in AM, and this is also telling you we're in AM here. So now we're gonna set it to 1 p.m. And we are now at, well, we can go back a little bit. We're at one o'clock. Once we have that set, you can see it's the seventh here and we're at one o'clock. We're gonna press in the crown and the second hand starts moving and we have it set for one o'clock p.m. for the seventh. This watch also has a conograph feature. To start the conograph, you simply press the A button. Upon doing that, you'll see the second conograph moving forward. And once that completes a one full rotation, your minute will move up one notch. Now to stop the chronograph, you simply press the A button again. That stops it. And if you need to reset it, then you just press the C button and you can see this move back to 60 and this is at 60. And that is setting your Jet Setter chronograph watch. Occasionally, if you've recently changed the battery or if the battery has had a hard hit, the chronograph seconds or minutes may not zero out. So when you press the D button, if these do not zero out, then we need to go back in and reset that. To do that, you simply press, you pull out the crown, which is the B button, all the way out to the position two, which stops the watch and then you press the D button and you just press and hold that in. Now, if your minutes have not zeroed out, you need to hold this in until this goes all the way around to zero it out to 60. This may take a little bit. Now we're almost there. Now once we're almost on 60, what you're going to do is just keep that, press it one at a time, and now we're focusing on the seconds down here. Because this is zeroed out, we just need to press this one at a time to get this straight up at 60. Now once we have both our seconds and our minutes zeroed out to 60, you just press in the stem into the zero position, the watch starts, and so now when we start our chronograph with the A button, our second chronograph is starting to move. Then once we stop it, 
with the A button, and then press the D button, everything moves back to the zero position, both our minutes and our seconds. And, and that is how you reset the conograph feature.